HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do a very quick and easy, very simple laser bolt coming towards the camera using the lightning and electricity effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my raw footage onto the editor timeline, and then I am just going to right click on that and say, make it into a composite shot. Click OK. So now I have this footage. I'm going to have three shots that happen here. So I'm just going to mark them. So the first shot happens about there, right? Yep, right there. I'm just going to slice that layer. Okay. And then the second shot is about right um, there. Slice it. And then the third shot is about right there. Okay, the first shot, I actually um, aim towards the left of the camera, which would be our right looking at me. The second shot, I aim towards the other side. And then the third shot, I aimed right at the camera. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a new plane layer and it's going to house the blaster bolt itself it is black so i'm going to right click on it and blend mode of add and i'm just going to bring it to the first spot here and then what is going to happen is is i'm just going to move forward one two three four five six frames and i'm going to bring it in and that's my blaster bolt right there okay we'll go ahead and really expand and get in here close um, and I'm going to add a uh, point layer. The point layer will be origin of the uh, um, bolt, and then I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to call this one destination. Okay. And actually, whoops, and let me spell it right, destination. Okay. And actually, I think I will go ahead and trim those in also. So let me grab them both and just bring them to there and bring them to there. All right, now I can move in a little closer. And here's what's going to happen. Under the bolt plane itself, I am going to add the lightning and electricity effect. And then I'm going to twirl that open. And I will start by taking the wave scale down to zero, taking the twitch scale down to zero, and also under branches, quantity should be zero as well. So we have our laser bolt. Uh, opening up the glow, I'm going to change the color of that to red so that it actually looks like a laser bolt, okay? All right, now the start point, I am going to twirl it open, zero out, zero and zero, and use layer origin, okay? And then the end point, I'm going to zero that out, zero and zero, and use layer destination, okay? So now if I move the origin point over to, and I'm going to use my mouse wheel, scroll in here, and about right on the tip of the uh, blaster there, and then the destination point I can put over here, yeah, maybe it looks like about there, okay? Now, the ending needs to be much wider, so I'm going to bring that up as big as it can be, five, okay? Uh, and so now there's my, there's my blaster bolt, right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to work on keyframing the growth of each of these, okay? So they're both actually going to start at zero, and I'm going to keyframe... And then I'm going to move forward five frames, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to all the way out, all right? Now, what needs to happen is I'm just going to copy these, and I am going to paste that same um, two keyframes here, okay? But you can see that I still don't have a bolt there. I just have a little ball, okay? What I need to do is I need to take my start ones and move them one frame off, okay, towards the right, and now I have my bolt. And that's it. There is the entire effect right there. And so now if I do a little bit of a, uh, um, oh, you know I should do? Let me add the blaster bolt sound with it as well. Okay, so there's a blaster bolt sound. And now, if I do a uh, RAM preview, it looks like this. Okay, so now to do the second one, all I have to do is just grab those four 
um, assets and move on in here. And I'm just going to go copy, control C, and paste. So now I have those. And I'm just going to change the destination to be over here on the other side. And the origin, I'm just going to, again, place right there on the tip of the gun. And so now, if I do a RAM preview of that, I have this. Like that. All right, now the third one, I actually fired right at the camera. So I'm going to have it actually fire right towards the camera. I'm going to copy and paste all of those. And again, the origin point is going to sit right on the very tip of the blaster. And then the destination point is going to come right towards the middle of the camera. So basically, you know, it's coming. All right, now the problem or the thing about this is, is that it ends up you know, not really going very, you know, big. Okay, and it would in expand in size as it came closer to the camera. So the way that you make that happen, and you can do this with all of them. I'm just going to do this with this one, though is under the bolt plane, transform, scale property. I'm going to go ahead and keyframe that. I'm going to move forward to the last frame where the bolt is visible. And then I'm going to scale that up until I want, you know, as, as big as I want it to be. Okay. So now that I've done that, if I do a RAM preview of the entire shot, it looks like this. <laughs> Now, if I wanted to keyframe the scale of these bolts here, say this bolt, for example, then what I would do is, is I would come to the beginning of that. And again, under the bolt frame, uh, under transform, I would keyframe the scale. Then, and actually, I want to make sure that keyframe is on the right spot. Okay, and then I would come to the last frame and I would just make that as big as I felt it needed to be. Okay, maybe that big. Uh, and so then it would look something like this. And I think maybe that looks a little better for that shot. So it's sort of just one of those things where you want to, you kind of do what you, uh, what feels good and what looks good to you, right? So uh, you can also add on, um, you know, the uh, uh, motion blurs onto the different bolt planes. Uh, and if you do that, and let's say I do that right here, then I end up with this. So, pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.